Grand Rising. Today I want to talk about understanding the source of your reality. Understanding the source of your reality. If you do enjoy self-love and spiritual development videos, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to upload videos every Thursday. Imagination creates all reality. You ever find yourself asking these questions? Why am I here? What happens after I die? Does God really exist? Who is God? What is God? If you ask if you ask yourself these questions and you never have any answers, I'm going to tell you why. The answers that you're looking for are not external. So they're not on the outside, they're not objective. There's no power outside of you. Nobody's going to come out of the sky and save you. Nobody's going to come out from this so-called heaven to come save you. And this is because the kingdom of heaven is within you. Heaven means harmony. So all of these harmonious things, all of these joyful things, all of these loving things that you're looking for are already within you. You're having a human experience as a spirit. Your source is a spirit, so you are energy. And you're here having a human experience. So this means that subjectively, all of your thoughts, your emotions, your concept of yourself, objectified into a human being. So people say, something came from nothing. Well, this nothing is actually everything because everything comes from your imagination. Albert Einstein told us this many years ago. Imagination is everything. It is the preview to life's coming attractions. So you must understand that the source of your reality is your human imagination. So this imagination belongs to you. You cannot see it. I cannot see it. This is because it belongs to you. It is internal. It is personal. So this invisible power, this imagination, people call it God. So it doesn't have to be a male or a female. It just is. So energy cannot be created or destroyed. It could be transformed or transmuted, but you do not create it. You do not destroy it. It just is. So God just is. Nothing created God. Nothing will destroy God. God just is. So this energy is, is infinite. And this infinite energy is called I am. I am that I am. So if you read the Bible, understand that I am is referring to your consciousness, your imagination. So this is your subconscious. This is your mind. You cannot see it. But it, this is exactly what the scripture is talking about. This is your human awareness. So the things that you become aware of, that's what you give life to in the outer world. Are you with me? The source of your reality is based on your concept of yourself, the things that you believe in, and all of the things that you're programming yourself to believe in. So whenever you hang around a certain group of people and you hang around them for a period of time, whether this is a school, family, work, friends, you begin to adapt some of the same qualities, some of the same personalities, habits that they do. And then you will, be, you will begin to do those. And then you will look back and say, oh, it's happening to me also. I'm also experiencing the same thing. And this is because you're constantly thinking about it. 
when you go home, you have that same scenario in your mind when you were at school or hanging out with your friends, even from when you were a little kid. So then you manifest that here in your human experience. But the source of your reality is coming from your mind, the things that you believe to be true. In order for you to change your physical reality or this 3D world, you must plant new seeds. So now that you understand that the source of your reality is coming from your human imagination, you must pay attention to the things that you're paying attention to. Are you with me? So if you're constantly listening to music that's derogatory and it's not uplifting, you're going to embody that. You're going to be singing it and you're going to be telling your subconscious mind you want more of that. You want violence. You're telling your mind that you want all of these things that do not serve you. If you're hanging out with people who do not take care of their health, maybe sit around all day, they don't work. If you're hanging around with these people who are not trying to create a better future for themselves, you are going to be one of those people. If you look at your top three to five friends, you're probably doing the same thing they are your annual income is pretty relatively close to them. If they go to the gym, more than likely you're going to the gym. If they don't work out, they could care less about their body. You're probably not going to be too inspired because you want to do the things that they do. You want to go hang out with them and do things. And there's nothing absolutely, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You don't have to work out and go to the gym, but you have to take care of your temple, your mind, your body, your spirit. So maybe you need to find different friends and it's going to hurt. But you understand that the source of your reality is based on the things that you put in your mind. If you're sitting at home all day watching Netflix, you're watching the news and they're talking about the worst things ever. They're talking about lack of food, gas prices are up, wars. They're talking about all the worst things that could ever happen and they're telling you about it. So when you lay your head down, what do you think is going on in your mind? What do you think you're going to see tomorrow? So if you're consciously aware of this and you continue to do this, you can no longer blame God. You cannot blame the spirit of God. You cannot say the devil made me do it because you're consciously making a choice not to better yourself. You're making that decision not to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you're loving God because the spirit of God is within you. There's no separation between the two. If you're in a situation that you do not like right now, understand that you are the source of your reality. It is your consciousness, your awareness of yourself. If you're telling yourself every morning when you wake up, oh, I hate going to work. I hate this job. When you get to work, something's ba something bad's going to happen. You're going to be late, stuck in traffic, and you're going to be reminded of why you hate the job. Are you with me? So these so-called so bad things are happening to you because you keep entertaining them. That's the source of your reality. Your attention. You're paying your attention. You don't want to waste anything, any, any type of time, effort, you don't want to waste it because if you can flip the script and you can take those five to 10 seconds that you were going to say, oh, today's going to be a bad day. If you could just consciously become aware of, okay, I know the source of my reality. So if I say this, it possibly can manifest or I can attract it into my life. So I'm going to be positive and say, I don't necessarily like this job, but at least I have a job that helps me pay with my bills and puts food on my table, a roof over my head and a reliable car. And you can appreciate that you do have a job because you can have no job. Somebody right now wishes they had the job that you have and be grateful for that. And as you become grateful, then 
the universe, your higher self will give you more reasons to be grateful. You may get a promotion. You may find the job that you really like. But in the meantime, if you don't like it, don't entertain the fact that you don't like it. Find something positive about it and then flip the script. And then when you go to bed at night, assume that you do have the job that you desire. Because when you go to bed in the assumption of your wish fulfilled, then you're planting seeds in the garden of your mind. So the Garden of Eden is where everything grows. This is your thoughts, your imagination, how you value yourself, your self-concept, your I amness. This is all coming from your mind. So if if you become aware of, okay, I know that the source of my reality is in my imagination. So if I watch something negative before bed, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna think about that, which means I'm gonna plant those negative seeds. If I gossip with my friend before I go to bed, I'm sending out that type of energy out into the world that I like to gossip about people. So then tomorrow, you're going to be put in a situation where something happens to you, and then you're going to be gossiping again to your friend the next evening. Are you with me? Those things do not serve you. You think those people are bothering you, But those people are here to remind you of how you think because everyone is yourself pushed out. Everyone is yourself externalized. Everybody is a fragment of you. So if you're coming across negative people into your human experience, then you need to take a step back and check yourself and ask yourself, okay, am I being negative? Am I talking negative? Am I carrying myself in a negative manner? So when you do this and you begin to meditate, commune with yourself, and you do, you do a little bit every single day, you're going to come to the conclusion that you have been toxic to yourself, toxic to other people. And this is the source of your reality, your, te- your, your toxic mindset. You're constantly talking about people. You're not loving yourself. You're not taking care of your body, your temple. You're not eating healthy. You're not consuming any material that's positive. You're not reading books. You're not watching maybe some positive podcast, maybe talking positive to a mentor. You're not doing any of these things. You go to work, you come home, and you gossip the whole time. Do you feel like this is serving you for your highest self? And do you feel like this is going to add value to your community, society, the world? And there's nothing wrong with the fact that maybe you're not doing those things right now. It's okay. At least be conscious and aware of it, and then let's move forward. But if you're still there a year from now, after you heard this video, can we actually blame God and say, well, God wants me here? Think about that. So it's important to understand that you are the source of your reality. If you want to change your life, you must go within yourself and see yourself having the lovely things that you deserve. But the choice is yours. Where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video. I do have two amazing recommended videos for you to watch. Life is good. If you did like this video and it resonates with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.